Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will cover archiving skill set contacts in Avaya Aura Contact Center or AACC. First, I will cover some details on archiving skill set contacts in AACC. Then I'll demonstrate how it's done on a lab system. The AACC Archive Utility is used to configure archive settings and to archive or restore multimedia contacts from the AACC database. For skill sets, the archive date will default to six months before the current date. Only closed skill set contacts within the selected date range are archived. Any skill set contacts still open will not be archived. Skill sets that are no longer in service will appear with an asterisk in the skill set list. The folder where the skill set archive will be stored must not contain any other files. It must be an empty folder. Skill set data is archived to a text file named contactarchive.txt under the folder selected for the archive. There will also be a log file named archivelog.txt created in that same archive folder. Now I will start the demo. For this demo, I am logged into a Lab AACC system with an administrator account. First, you need to start the archive utility. Click on the Start button, then select All Programs. Select the Avaya folder and then click on Contact Center. Now select Multimedia Server. Click on Archive Restore to start the archive utility. In the left pane of the utility window, click on Archive by Skill Set. Under the Skill Set list, you need to select the skill sets you want to archive and move them to the Archive section. You can use the slide bar to move up and down the list of skill sets. After you select and highlight a skill set name, then click the right arrow to move the selected skill set to the Skill Sets to Archive section. If you incorrectly move a skill set, use the left arrow to move it back to the skill set list. For this demo, I will select a couple of skill sets and move them to the Archive section. Under the Skill Sets to Archive list, the two skill sets I selected and moved are displayed. The total contacts in those skill sets, the number of contacts that will be archived based on the selected date, and the estimated archive time are displayed for each skill set. Notice that only a subset of the total contacts for each skill set will be archived. In the calendar under the heading Contacts Closed on or Before, select the last date for which you want to archive contacts. Contacts closed after the selected date will not be archived. By default, the date selected will be 6 months or 180 days before the current date. You cannot select the current date, only a date earlier than today. I am going to move the date up by one month. Notice that the number of contacts to archive for both skill sets increased when I changed the date. Under Archive Options, check the box next to Delete Customer Data if you do not want to include customer data in the archive. By default, this field is not checked. 
I am going to leave it as unchecked. In the Archive Comments field, you can type an optional comment for this archive. I will use Test Skillset Archive for the comment. Use the Browse button under the Archive to Folder field to select and or create a folder where the archive will be stored. Remember the folder you select cannot contain any other files. I will create a new folder under the temp directory on the C drive to store this archive. I have opened the temp directory. Now I will click the Make New Folder button and I will name the new folder Skillset Archive. Now I'll select that new folder and click OK. The path to the folder I just created displays in the Archive to Folder field. Now click the Archive button. The Archive Scheduler window displays. The Start, Date, and Time default to the current ones to start archiving immediately. But you can select a future date and time to run the archive later, perhaps during an off-peak time. Use the arrows next to the date and time fields to select different entries. Once you have set the date and time, then click OK. I will set this archive to run tomorrow at the same time. The archive manager displays showing the details for the archive I just scheduled. If any other archives were scheduled to run in the future, they would also display. Now I can select the scheduled archive and use the active buttons to make changes. Since this archive has not executed yet, the Open and Restore buttons are not active. The Pause and Resume buttons are only active if the archive is executing. As their names suggest, they will pause and resume a running archive. Only the Delete and Reschedule buttons are active for this scheduled archive. Selecting Delete would remove the archive from the schedule. Selecting Reschedule allows you to modify the date and time the archive is scheduled to run. When I click on Reschedule, the Archive Scheduler window displays. I will change the date and time to the current ones to run the archive immediately. Then I'll click OK to make the change. You can click on the Refresh button to see the progress of this archive. The archive is complete once the archive percent reaches 100. Now I'll select this completed archive. The Open, Restore, and Delete buttons are active now, but the Reschedule button is no longer active because the archive has already executed. When I select the Open button, the Archive Reader window will display. In the left pane, you can search for items in the archive. The drop-down arrow allows you to select what to search in, such as actions or customers. Or you can click on any populated and underlined number in the archive summary to display those items in the right pane. I will click on the number next to Contacts. 
the contacts list displays in the right pane. You can use the scroll bars to view the contact fields that are further to the right or to scroll up and down the contact list. You can also click Select next to any contact to display the data for just that contact. Any field in blue and underlined can be selected to display more information for that field. Again, you can use the scroll bars to move right, left, or up and down. I'm going to scroll down for this contact. The Action section is displayed. You can click on the other headings to display those items. For example, I'll select Audits. Now the Audits details will display. You can use the back arrow to return to the contacts list. Now I'll close the Archive Reader window and return to the Archive Utility. Now I'll select this Archive again and then click Restore to demonstrate how to restore the archive data back into the AACC database. The Restore Scheduler window displays. This is similar to the Archive Scheduler window. Select the date and time to run the restore. The default is the current date and time. Now I'll just click OK to run the restore right now. Once the restore completes, the entry will be removed from the display. This concludes the demo on archiving skill set contacts in AACC. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.